I think I might love myself. Ooh, that's a good song by a band called Beartooth. Um, so why are you still pining for the person that you love? Why are you still drawn in by this desire to want to manifest this other person, whether it be somebody back or manifest them into your life as a new person, or you're manifesting your, your, your ideal version. Why? 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 Now, why is very important because why is a storyteller? Why is literally storytelling to you? Why? <laughs> Let me say it another way. Why is fueled by a strong emotion? Okay. Why is all about your emotions? And so you need to trace back memories that lead you to feeling unloved, feeling unacceptable, feeling like you are valued, feeling like you're free. Whatever you have defined as the emotions or feelings behind manifesting someone into your life as the love of your life is always about you. And it's always about what you think about you. And it's always about the stories that your parents taught you about what it means to be in love, what it means to fall in love. But not just that, our culture, right? I mean, you watch movie after movie and we have this, which I think is just bonkers, this idea of like romantic comedies, which teaches us just really warped, screwed up ideas about what it means to fall in love. And it's very hetero normative, right? The guy falls in love with a girl and so on and so forth. But on top of that, what it's teaching you is, oh, life always ends this way. Okay. Life always ends with these two people getting together. Okay. Now I'm obviously for that. I'm for you getting your SP. I'm for you getting, you know, those people that you want in your life, whether you want somebody back or not. I'm a big believer that you can use the law to do that. And I've seen many people do it. I've helped people do it. But the reality is, is that you need to see that there are a lot of outside influences. And that's why I brought up rom-coms. That's why I brought up how your parents taught you how to love. What do I mean by that? Well, like, believe it or not, you as a child are just a sponge and you're taking in everything in your environment. So your parents don't have to even ever talk to you about romantic love. You see them enacting their version or their misunderstandings or their understanding of it. And so then you take that on as a child and you don't question it. According to the developmental psychologist, Jean Piaget, right? Everybody will have a schema. Everybody will have a map of how things work by the ages of five to eight. Okay, that means during those years, you are the most form formable, right? And you are being and forming thoughts and emotions and memories about how things go. So if you have any memory tied to, oh, my parents fought a lot. Well, then guess what that's going to do for you? That's going to create a version of yourself that thinks this is the way I love. I'm going to always be angry at the person that I love, but I want them in my life, but I'm going to be angry at them all of the time, right? Are you with me so far? So when you are pining and when you're obsessing and when you're like, why isn't it working? Why aren't they in my life? It's because you don't love yourself. It's because you don't think you're valuable enough. You don't think that you can give yourself freedom. You don't think you can give yourself those desires that you want that person to have embodied when you meet them to give yourself to them. Imagine that manifestation is like an ongoing Christmas present. Anything you desire, you first give to yourself within, right? Always and every single time. If you want to know the secret to this, and I'm going to do another video on this, but here it is. The secret to manifestation is whatever you want, you embody. That's it. There you go. That's it. That's the long and the short of it, okay? That is how you manifest, okay? If you want someone because they make you feel valued, then you first value yourself, right? If you want someone because they make you, because you want to feel more free, give yourself the freedom. So, so then what I want you to do is I want you to go through today and I want you to actually sit down with some piece of paper or something like that. Write down the three to five different feelings that someone gives you. Joy? Okay, then give yourself. What does that mean for you? Well, act like your future self, which means you already have this person in your life. And what would you do? Because people, and this is weird, people will hold off on doing certain things until they have their goal, until they have their person, until their SP is doing what they want, right? 
And so that's the opposite of what manifestation is, okay? You have to go full on into the new person who has everything they want, and what would you do? Would you become a singer on stage? Would you learn how to knit? Would you, it doesn't matter what it is, start doing those things today and start loving yourself, and I guarantee you without a question, you will get that person, whether it be a person coming back to you or a new person altogether. And do this from the state of deserving, and I guarantee you, you will fall in love sooner than you think.